Hello and welcome to Windows Business Weekly. I'm Russell and today I'm going to show you how you can record your screen in Windows 10 absolutely for free. Now there are many applications available for Windows that allow you to record your screen two of the most popular being OBS Studio and Camtasia. But there is an application built into Windows 10 where you can capture your screen absolutely for free. So I'm going to show you how to use that today. Let's head over to the PC and see how it works. Now you can see on the screen here that I have OneNote open and I want to show a colleague how to do various things. And the easiest way for me to do that is just make a quick screen recording and send it to them. So to do that, I'm going to use the Windows Game Bar. Now, the first thing that I need to do is make sure that the Game Bar is enabled on my system. So I'm going to open the Settings app. And to do that, I just press the Windows key and I at the same time. So I'm going to do that now. And in the Find a Setting box, I'm going to type the Game Bar. Now you can see here that we have the option to enable Xbox Game Bar. Now to use Game Bar, you don't need to have an Xbox. So I'm just going to click that. And you can see that the Game Bar is set to on. Uh, and as long as that is set to on, you are ready to go. So I'm going to click uh, the close box here and I'm ready now to record OneNote. So to open the game bar, you need to press the Windows key and G at the same time. And now you can see the game bar on the screen. Now there are lots of, lots of different panels here, but the only one that I'm really interested in at the moment is the capture panel in the far left hand corner. Now you can see here that it's already set to OneNote for Windows. So because this was the application that was open and active on the screen before I open game bar, this is the application that it's going to capture. And I've got the option here to capture just a screenshot or make a recording. So we're going to make a recording. So I just press record. And in a few seconds, you'll see the capture status open on the right hand side of the screen. So now we can see that the recording is active. So I can come back to OneNote and I can type some text here. So maybe next week I'm going to test OBS Studio for next week's recording. And I'm going to highlight some text and make it bold. Maybe I'm going to draw something on the screen. Let's draw something. And that's it. I'm now done with my recording. So to stop it, I just come back over to capture status and click the blue stop recording button. So now that we've made the recording, to access it, I need to open the game bar again. So I'm going to press the Windows key and G to open the game bar. And if I come back to the capture panel, I can see here that I've got the option to click show all captures. So I'm going to click that and we can see here various different captures that I've made. And the latest one here, I can preview by just hitting their play. And if I move the playheads forwards, you can see there me typing and drawing on the screen. Now there are a couple of different things that we can do here. I can delete the recording if I'm not happy with it. I can change the name of the recording by pressing the edit icon. I'm not going to do that, but we could if we want to. And if I'm ready to share or upload the recording, all I need to do here is hit file location. And you can see all of my recordings are there ready to share or maybe upload to YouTube, for instance. Now, there are a couple of things that are worth knowing about the game bar. So I'm going to close the gallery. And if you have a look up here, I can click the settings icon. And if I come down to capturing, there are a couple of different things that I can change here uh, that affect our recording. So I can change how audio is recorded. Now I had it set to disabled, so there was no audio recording uh, for that particular clip that we just made. But I can set it to record everything from the system, maybe the sound from a game or my microphone, uh, or everything together. Or I can just set it to record the sound from the application and my microphone. I can also get it to record in the background if I like. So there are various different things that you can change there. You can also change the shortcuts that are used to start the game bar. So Windows G is the default uh, shortcut. You can change that if you like. There's also a shortcut for starting and stopping recordings, which by default is the Windows key 
Alt and R, which you need to press all together. And you can also change that if you like. So that is recording your computer screen uh, in the Windows Game Bar in a nutshell. It does have a couple of disadvantages. So you can only record the current application that's on your screen when you open the Game Bar. So if you want to switch to another application while you're recording, you cannot do that with Game Bar. If you want to record a Win32 application and it has file menus across the top, like file, view, this kind of thing, help, it won't show those menus. I have no idea why, but the game bar won't show those menus. So if you want to record a, a, a Win32 application, you better look at another a solution like OBS Studio, for instance. And hopefully I'll show you how to use that uh, in an upcoming clip. So if you like the content today, please give me a thumbs up on uh, YouTube. If you'd like to see more content from me, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.